Hey, Money Movers. Welcome back to Millennial Money Moves with Nadia. Today, I'm going to be doing a stock pick review from my top favorite YouTubers. If you're new here, this is a thing that I do where I talk about what Stock Mo, Chris Sane, and Larry Jones are investing in. Just kind of a little summary. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you can see when I'm making new content right away. And thank you so much for those of you who have been supporting me from day one. Um, okay, so let's get into it. So Nadia, what's up? We making money moves. Who making money moves? We making money moves. You making money moves? We making So let's get into it. Stockmo started off talking about Fisker, that's ticker symbol FSR. Now right now it's at about $17 and it's an American EV company. Their headquarters is in California, that's where they're based out of, and it's previously hit highs around $28. So if it goes back up to around that range, an increase from 17 to 28 is pretty good. And he thinks that more people are going to start checking this one out, going to start looking at it, maybe investing in it. I actually um, bought a couple shares of it today myself. Tip Ranks, it's a website that he talks about a lot. I use it too. They, The analysts on there think that it will even get into the $35, $40 range. Um, so that's definitely pretty good considering it's only at 17 something right now. So let's move on to CCIV. Now, you've heard about this one a lot. This is Churchill Capital. Right now, it's about $23, and he predicts that by the end of the year, it could be worth between $40 and $50. Now, I've had some shares of CCIV for a while now, and I've been um, kind of buying on the dips. I haven't bought any more recently, but that's where I'm at right now. I'm still just holding to see um, to see what'll happen. Now, EVs have kind of been bad right now, and there are a lot of factors that have caused it to not look great right now. Stock Mo kind of goes into more detail about that on his channel, on his video, but there's still a lot of room for them to come back, and I still feel pretty confident about the EVs that I'm invested in. He also talked about Lee Auto Inc. Their ticker symbol is LI. And right now it's $23 and Stockmo says he thinks this is a buy right now. Over the past few years, you know, he kind of looked back and showed that the stock has grown a lot. And he says he's buying more of this one. I have this one on my watch list. I haven't invested in this one because I'm in so many EVs right now. And lately I've just really learned the importance of diversifying your portfolio and I had a lot of EV and a lot of tech and right now that's what's pretty red. Not saying that I think that those are going to stay in the red but I also want to have some other things that aren't EVs or tech so that I can prepare myself so I can better prepare myself for days when the market is red. But also remember that the stocks I just mentioned are growth stocks. So they are riskier investments. Stockmo mentioned that in his video. I'm just saying it again. Keep that in mind. Okay. And Uncle Larry, in his video, he explained what's been happening in the market right now, like lately. And he says that, you know, with everything being in the red right now, he's just kind of dollar cost averaging into ones he already, no, into the ones that have been hit the hardest that he already has. And he explained the importance, as I kind of mentioned earlier, of balancing your portfolio. You don't want to be too EV heavy, too tech heavy, too, and not just EVs and tech. That's just what I'm using as an example for right now because that's what's in the red. But if you are only in pharmaceuticals, if you are only in um, fintech or something like that, you don't want to do that because that's kind of like, you know, people say like, it's like putting all your eggs in one basket and that's not what we want to do. We want to spread it out so that Uncle Larry always has balanced the boat. You know, you don't want to be too heavy on one end because if it goes bad, you're drowning and we don't want that. 
And he kind of gave a good example of things that are good right now. Right now, it's good to be invested in banks or long-term stocks. And, you know, he really focused on doubling down and holding. Um, He also talked about CCIV. He says he may buy a few more shares here, and he talked about the warrants. He's buying the warrants at about $11 and selling them at about $13.50. So these are quick, you know. With warrants, he's kind of in and out. And in his video, um, I think it was the what's happening with the market right now video, he talks about why he's in and out of the warrants as quickly as he is. And there's a reason for that. Maybe one day I'll make a video about warrants and what they are and where you can go to buy them. Because I think when I first started talking about warrants, I was um, mostly only talking about Robinhood, the Robinhood app. But I don't use that anymore. And you couldn't buy warrants on there anyways. But if I buy warrants, I would get them on Fidelity. Fidelity, I think, is a great um, brokerage account. I think it's important to have Fidelity as long as well as Weeble, if you have Weeble, because on Fidelity, you can buy fractional shares. And I think that's so important when you're investing, especially if you're a beginner. You know, if you're young, don't have as much money to invest into the market, fractional shares, you can you know, slowly start to buy more of something like Tesla or Apple that costs a little bit more. Now, he did mention a stock that he's buying now. It's Neptune Digital Assets Corp, um, ticker symbol NPPTF. And it's about 72 cents right now. And he didn't buy it at this price. He thinks it's a good buy around 60 cents. That's where he bought it. Or if it drops down further to about 39 cents, he thinks that's also a good buy. This is like a a penny stock. And this is a good one that that he's investing in right now. So definitely add that one to your watch list. Keep an eye on it. Well, at least that's what I'm doing. Keeping an eye on it for it to be around 60 cents or 39 cents. Because I think 72 is too high to buy. And, you know... Just with all of this, oh, I also wanted to mention Chris Sane because I mentioned him, but I didn't do a stock pick. But that's because in his recent videos, he talked about options, about trading options. And I'm still too new to do that. I think options are something that you should do when you're more, um, when you're a more experienced investor. But if you want to, you know, look more into that, go ahead and check out his latest videos. Um, I watched them. I'm just still a little unsure. I don't want to talk about it yet to you guys because that's something that I'm learning because it's a little above the level of investing that I'm at right now. But hopefully someday I'll get there soon. Um, But from this video, I want you to take away the importance of diversifying your portfolio. You know, I know I talk a lot about um, not panic selling and um, not locking in your losses, having diamond hands. But If you are not diversifying your portfolio, that's also not a good thing because, you know, if you mess up, you don't want to completely tank everything your money is invested in. But um, that's it for today. I know it was probably a little shorter video than it normally is, but I hope you guys still got to know some of the stocks that I'm investing in as well as Stockmo and Larry Jones for today's video. Thank you again for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. Hello, my name is Larry Jones from Stock Up with Larry Jones. I just want to tell you my personal experience with Weeble. I love the fact that they give you the necessary tools to set you up for long-term success. Uh, I love the fact that it's phone friendly, unlike a lot of apps out there. I love the fact that I could trade hours before the market opens and hours after it closes. My relationship as an influencer has been great. I can talk to a person, get a real live person on the phone, And I would just say it's just been wonderful for me personally. I've worked with a lot of companies before, but the customer service that I get is impeccable from Weeble. So, hey, Weeble, I just want to say happy fifth anniversary.